Hello everybody and welcome back to a new series on the channel, Tony Stewart Sprint Car Racing Career Mode here. Uh, very excited to get into this game. A little bit of background, I have no knowledge on dirt car racing and I don't really have an interest in dirt car racing, but I saw this game coming out and I, I had an interest in at least trying the game out. Maybe that'll change my opinion on dirt racing in general. So we're here to do a career mode. Obviously, this is the uh, developer of NASCAR Heat that made this game, so we're going to see how it goes. But you can see I was just kind of getting my character made. Uh, this video is kind of short uh, simply because it was just uh, I'm just showing kind of the introduction into the career mode uh, to where we get everything going. So we're just going to kind of show the intro race. That's my fire suit and helmet and whatnot. Um, so that's what I went with, black and red. I actually had to reset my career mode already simply because I accidentally left uh, in uh, race music on. So we don't want to get copyrighted. So I had to restart that. So we'll get going, though, uh, to get ready for our first race. It's kind of like a hot seat from NASCAR Heat. Uh, except that you only get one race and you have to attract sponsors. One thing I already do not like about the career mode, I must say, is simply that you have to own your own team. I do not like that at all. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot join a team, at least from what I'm aware of so far. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't stay like that, but we'll see what happens. It's something I can deal with if we have to, but either way, we're going to uh, Stonebridge Raceway, I guess, uh, here. or Stonebridge uh, Motorsports Park is what it's called uh, in these uh, midget cars. Now, as we would get ready right into the action here for our first qualifying attempt. I was running a uh, preset setup other than the fact that I was pushing up the uh, rear end ratio on the gearing because the car is pretty slow at the start. Uh, just kind of like if you've played the NASCAR Heat 4 or any NASCAR Heat career mode, you'll understand. It's kind of like dri we're driving a three-star team right now and it's extremely, extremely slow. But either way, we come to our final lap of qualifying. The goal was a 9.43 second uh, around this track. It's a very short track, obviously. We come through turns three and other turns four, though, coming to the line. And we go with a 9.87 as our fastest. And this is the paint scheme on the car that we will be driving uh, throughout the whole season when we actually get going into the real season other than this just introduction race but either way we get ready uh, we go into heat four and if we can make it to the a main we can get a really good sponsor for our team that we're going to have next season but that is already i can tell you the paint scheme that we're going to be running at least in this series we'll see how that translates into the series above that now as we're ready to go green though for our first race here in the tony stewart sprint car racing game the green flag is out and we are underway lap one of five here in this fourth heat race now uh, i think it was top two advance uh, to the qualifying dash and then top three advance to the A main. So if we can just get a top three, we'll be in good shape. Sure enough, through turns one and two, though, on lap two, we make a bit of a mistake there. We're still running P3 as we go down into turns three, though. Very, very quick laps. And you can see the leader in second place already were driving away from me. I definitely definitely want to get a little more uh, accustomed to knowing these driver names so that way I'm not, just not calling them this guy, this girl, or whatever. But we come to just two laps to go here in the heat running P5. So two positions below what we need to be. And like I said, these laps go so quick, you need to be right on top of your game to be able to make it into that top three. Now as we come through turns one and two on this final lap of this fourth heat, right on the back place of Kringus there in P3, we're going to send it up the inside, and we're actually going to take P3, cross the line for third, and we're going to advance to the A main. Surprisingly, uh, now I was, I mean, I was definitely uh, happy with that, and uh, so we're going to be starting P14 for the A main here in uh, what was the Stone Ridge. Now as we would get ready to go green, Tony Stewart, he was starting on the front row P2 uh, here in this A main so obviously Tony Stewart I think they have him uh, racing in every single series in this game as we get ready to go green for our first A main and we're ready to go green now as the green flag is up from the 14th starting position here 20 cars entered in this A main as we go down into turns one here you see the return of our cinematic cameras now uh, as it works just like this again the cinematic cameras work or replay cameras work just like NASCAR Heat 4 um, so we're, you certainly will be used to that now as hit 19 laps to go in this A main and the, the leader I can tell you already was so much faster than me we had absolutely nothing for him so it was really just maybe can we stay in the lead lap I don't know he was already within like a straightaway I mean obviously the straightaways at this track only last for like two seconds and then we're back into uh, the long sweeping corner now as we came through to cross the line 17 to go I decided that I would show the whole A main I think in the future these A mains uh, are so short dirt racing the, the heats the races are short uh, so I think I'm actually going to do 100% length we'll see uh, what I decide on but either way we drop down to P13 here on lap 5 and the leader 
was actually the next car behind me. I was already about to be a lap down here as we hit 15 laps to go. And I, like I said, I don't have a lot of knowledge on dirt racing as we do go a lap down. But is I'm not sure if it's normal uh, to be going a lap down this early on in a dirt race when I'm running P12. Obviously, if there is some people here that have a lot of knowledge on uh, dirt stuff, you can definitely drop some knowledge on me in the comment section. That would be very much appreciated. But either way, we're battling for P11 at this point now with 13 laps to go. But these races just fly by so quick. Tony Stewart, he went on by. Lawrence there in P11. That's one of the drivers we are currently battling for position now as we come through to hit lap 9 of 2012 laps to go, to go down into turns 1. You see there the leaderboard, the whole damage thing. This game kind of like it felt like a carbon copy uh, from the uh, NASCAR Heat series, but I can't really complain too much because I actually enjoy uh, NASCAR Heat 4 quite a lot. So, uh, like I said, I'm not going to complain because, like I said, I'm happy with kind of how this game has been done so far, and we're going to see how it continues in the future. Now they're going to do some DLC and whatnot, so we'll see what we get from that. But either way, we continue on here. It would have been nice to have this camera view right here uh, from the replay cameras as a standard view in the uh, game. Now, it uh, might be a little bit of a surprise to see me running in the uh, third-person views. I usually do not enjoy third-person, but it seems to work really well uh, with these cars and in this game. Now, as we come through on lap 13, still running in the 11th position as we actually have gone now two laps down. Uh, here as we come through to hit lap 14, so uh, actually five laps to go for us now. Uh, as we come through, heading down into turns three, getting past again from second place as we just kind of continue to run P11 there as we hit four laps to go here in the A main. Like I said, they fly by so quickly, so we definitely need to bump up, I think, uh, the race length to 100%, but I think we'd be like 10 laps down by the time that thing's over now as we go down here with now just three laps to go. Still running P11, so just hoping that I can hold on. Either way, we're going to get a very good sponsor offer, but the caution comes out late here in the race, and this is going to force a green-white checkered so we'll see what we can do here let's get ready for a two lap dash tony stewart actually on that front row seems like he's been running about second third this whole race now is a green flag is out and once again we are underway with just two laps to go in our first career a main trying to make a very good uh introduction a very good impression to this lower series now as we try to set up our uh, career path now as we go down into turn three approaching the final lap already now as we head down into turns one and two for the final time here and we get hit in the bumper there now as we're sideways on the exit of the corner and we lose a lot of control and that completely messes me up through the final corner as well and we go from P11 down to P13 as we came through to cross the line for our first ever A main there as I went down into turns one and two and some guy just came up from behind and smashed into the back of our car and certainly uh, upset the car quite significantly so unfortunate there how that ended but either way we still finished P13 can't complain too much for our first race here at Stone Ridge uh, Motorsports Park now it's like I said P13 nothing to be disappointed about now as Tony Stewart's up there on P3 uh, I'm not sure if the other drivers are real drivers or not I know Jeff Viano, my favorite YouTuber, uh, Jeff Viano, has actually gotten himself uh, in this game. I started watching him back when he was doing uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 with uh, the LCP DFR series, so it's certainly cool to see how far he has come. But either way, we would choose the highest paying sponsor uh, as I was looking through, seeing if there was maybe a little bit of a catch to the highest paying sponsor, but it seemed like it was pretty worth it. And this was the paint scheme that I would go with, the same one that we just ran uh, here. I chose number 99 simply because 24 wasn't available, as Jeff Gordon was always my favorite driver and the 42 of Kyle Larson's number that wasn't available either so I went with the 99 but hopefully we can have a pretty successful uh, rookie season here as I'm going to, before we end this episode, show kind of the whole garage scene and whatnot is going on here. So the first race of the series, or season, looks like it's Arrow Wood, and then we got Woodley, Canyon County, and Prairie Creek, all as the next race is coming up. An interesting uh, design of a track that we got coming up now uh, for the first race of the season. But I think it's like 14 races this season is, and then like the uh, actual sprint cars, like that, that's like a 35 race season, so it's going to be pretty long, kind of like the NASCAR heat stuff. Um, there's, you just see me messing with the settings there. They have different announcers. I don't know any of these announcers, obviously, and then I turned up the wall reverb, and I put bass boost on. But either way, I'm, like I said, going to show you guys quickly uh, kind of the garage stuff. You can actually uh, switch out parts, buy new parts, and I, uh, this surprisingly goes a little bit more in-depth than uh, NASCAR Heat 4, and I think this is something uh, that would be cool maybe for NASCAR Heat 5 if you're really into uh, owning 
your own team. Uh, so obviously, like I said, I don't have interest in owning a team at all, but I think we're kind of forced to do that. So we're just going to uh, have to work through it now. So you see the sponsors and other series and whatnot. I think we're kind of in a quote-unquote hot seat uh, for the next series. Potentially, I'm not sure yet. They weren't very clear on that, so we'll see how that works out. But as always, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Those would all be very appreciated. And if you guys want to see this con uh, series continue, absolutely make sure to let me know. So in the next one, we're going to start our rookie season here in the uh, midget cars and see what we can do uh, at the first race at Arrowwood. So thank you for watching, everybody, and have yourselves a great day.